Merry Christmas everybody! Um, I am making this video in order to announce what the first book is going to be in my 2016 book challenge. Um, I'm getting into festive spirit as you can see. Um, I hope you guys all are too. Um, I was planning to do this at Christmas, you know, in a couple of days time, but tomorrow's Christmas Eve and I've got loads of stuff to do. And then Christmas Day I'm going to be spending the entire day with my family. So I'm going to have to do it now else I'm not going to be able to um, make this video um, before Christmas. So yes, it's a now or never situation. Now, first off, um, I just want to explain how I'm going to be choosing the books um, for for my challenge, because I was queried by, by somebody who, um, who has watched my videos and such about uh, how is it can, that um, I'm picking books randomly, but I've actually formed a list of the, the books I'm going to read. Now, I had to make a list because of my book collection. So I wanted to rule out non-fiction books for a start off because obviously I've got a variety of non-fiction books like sewing patterns, cookery books, that kind of stuff, thick um, history books and such. So I wanted to, you know, make it so that it, I'm just going to have a year of fiction because I've got a lot of fiction books um, that I want to, to read and um, books that, as I said, that I've gotten that I haven't been able to read yet. So I decided just to go with fiction. Then I had to weed through my fiction books and take out the ones that are too long to be able to read within a week, um, take out, you know, little tiny um, little thin books and such because I didn't, I didn't want to have it. So it's you know, very short reads or anything. So, um, and I also wanted to make sure that there were certain, you know, the books that I haven't gotten around to reading, fiction books, should I say, that I haven't gotten around to reading, all of them are in this group. Um, the only for the rereading, there's only the book series that I specifically want to reread. Um, so as you can see, it took, it took days to figure out this list. Um, but I just, I want, because I wanted to make sure that it was right and there wasn't going to be any issues with um, me not being able to read the books in the whole week, that kind of thing. So I am um, to be able to answer the question about randomness, I have gone and bought myself a jar. And in this jar, there are 51 pieces of paper and each one of them has um, the name of one of the books on my list. So each week I'm going to make a video where I'm going to delve my hand into this jar and fish out a, um, a piece of paper and announce exactly what the book will be. So therefore, it is from a list, but it's random. And of course, if it's a if uh, I pull a book out of the jar, which is from a series, as I said, I will read that entire series from book one to book, which the last book number is, um, or it, it, you know, in one go. I won't just read the first book and then go on to a different one. Um, so yeah, so that's how it is going to work. So you'll be seeing me fishing bits of paper out this jar um, throughout the year, but that's how I've got to the list, but I'm also doing it randomly. Now, for the first book, however, uh, I haven't been random. I've, I specifically picked this book because this is the one I mentioned in my very first video where throughout the Poldark Challenge, kind of it, sort of in October time, uh, beginning to mid-October, I kept on going back to the Wolfstone's bookshelf like five or six times and picking up this book and not wanted to put it down. And so I just, I bought it, but I haven't been able to get around to, to reading it. Um, and I think it'd be really, really good to read to start on my, you know, start off the challenge. So the first book that I'm going to be reading in 2016 is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, written by Ransom Riggs. Um, now this has, there's, I think it's three books um, in the series now, but I've only got the first one. So following my rules, I can only read the first book. Uh, and this book's quite unique because it's a mixture of, of, you know, written text, but also photographs. So the photographs are woven into the story. Um, I'll read you the, the back of it in case you, you don't know what this, this story is about and such, but here, here's the, the, the synopsis on the back. 
A mysterious island, an abandoned orphanage, a strange collection of peculiar photographs. It all waits to be discovered in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, an unforgettable novel that mixes fiction and photography in a thrilling reading experience. As our story opens, a horrific family tragedy sets 16-year-old Jacob journeying to a remote island off the coast of Wales, where he discovers the crumbling remains of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. As Jacob explores its decaying bedrooms and hallways, it becomes clear that Miss Peregrine's children were more than just peculiar. They may have been dangerous. They may have been quarantined on a deserted island for good reason. And somehow, impossible though it, though it seems, they may still be alive. So, you know, the <laughs> the intrigue, the drama, and I, I, I like a good, you know, kind of creepy, spooky story, um, kept on taking me back to to this book so I've decided it's got to be the first book that I read for this this challenge I'm really looking forward to it but as I said for all of the other books it's the jar of randomness who that's going to um hold <laughs> all the titles that I'm going to pick from so that is it the first book Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children I um I may be back before um, I give my review on, on this book. I'm not too sure, but let's just see. I might do one um, right before I start the challenge of my thoughts on it. And as I said, I'm sure there's going to be other videos, um, as I've been doing, of my thoughts on, on various adaptations, various different themes of books and that, which I'll also be continuing as well. And I'll, I'll up those, upload those whenever I can. Um, but if I don't um, make a video before then, um, well, before I review this book, should I say, um, which I'll begin reading on the 4th of January. I really hope you all have a really, really happy Christmas and New Year. And uh, yeah, I will I will see you in, I suppose, 2016 or, or possibly sooner. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, if I don't see you, Happy New Year.